Okay, last game in our virtual tournament type thing. Playing as black. Playing against provisional. Let's develop the knight. Try and make some space for castling. <laughs> the attempt at not blundering a piece is at the forefront of my mind, but you know, it might be just the natural makeup of my game. I'm going to bring the knight out. It's a bit of an aggressive opening this looking thing that white's doing here so it does actually capture so the knight's going to get chased all over the damn place so we'll take the pawn hits the knight and then this pawn hits this knight and everything's just going backwards for me yeah let's just move the knight whichever one hit 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 yeah so i'm playing backwards chess here feeling all congested um Let's go back where we came from. Bishop's not opened up. So very aggressive opening. I think the plus for us is that the opponent's not developing their pieces either. And as we kind of practice, the head of the snake usually does fall or the back of the snake. That's why I'm not losing too much sleep over it at this moment. I'm going to bring the bishop out. In fact, I might not bring it that far. I think I'll just bring it here. Try and hit the head of the snake at some point soon. If we're allowed to. I'm trying not to overly respect us. Like I said, if we're allowed to. You know, they're just going to keep on at us, on at us, on at us aggressive opening with just the simple pawn pushes reminds, reminds me of one of the league games that I played for the first time when I first played over the board and uh, this player was just pushing these pawns down the center I was like what is this what is this chess what about all the other pieces anyway let's go back to where we came from as we said it's like backward chess that I'll be playing now So they're attacking and let's just take. So it looks like we're getting rid of the pawns, but they're going to be squishing our king with their queen. We do have the queen being able to come here. Obviously the queen's going to take the pot and bishop. So we're going to be down a piece. Yep. Again. How many games are we down a piece? That's three games. That we have down a piece. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Minor piece is gone. Just like that. In the blink of an eye. Now he's looking for the rook. Let's just bring the knight here. Try and protect this square. So can we come back from this one? I mean. There's only so much luck that a person can have. Isn't there? Yep. Yeah, surely. So there's no way I can come back from this now. I'm, I'm, my luck must have run out. Let's keep trying to look at position. I'm smirking inside of my thinking, crikey, if I get another advantage here. <laughs> this, let's go here. And making space to attack their king type thing. Also, we can take the um, knight if he's going to be exchanging. It's not doing that because he wants to keep the knight in a botherating type position so there's mm, something that the knights can do i think it's this knight i think this knight needs to come into operation and not lose any sheep sleep over what i can't do let's have a look at what we can do So we can't attack the knight. Well, we can, but it does get defended. So if we attack the knight, then the knight takes. 
then the rook comes here with the x-ray through to the king uh, the white square bishop will, will come and defend and the other knights can't actually get into the game but the pawn can actually hit the knight so that might be something might be something doesn't have to take it though but we'll attack the knight anyway they may just turn around and just take the bishop off the board saying you're not getting the equalization oh he's not doing any of that doesn't want to give the piece back we've got them running let's hit the knight ah, he doesn't want to give it back maybe we can improve our position on the board a little bit maybe safe haven here Oh, he's attacking the rook. Okay, being greedy. Let's go here. And it's again defending this, um, well, attacking this, this area. That's a little bit swish, isn't it? That's a little bit swish, fella. Hmm. Yeah, I must say that's a little bit swish. Bring the knight round. Where is he going with this? Going to hit the knight. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know what that was. Let's take there. Was it? Did he take a piece of mine? Obviously, he did, didn't he? So I'm still down pieces, but they have just given. The knight back. No, I'm not. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't. <laughs> I, can't. Oh, I know the game's not over, but the advantage they had as it's just been lost. That's making me look good. I'm. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. So we can X-ray through to their bishop and see if we can get it off the board because it doesn't look like there's anything else that can support. Although his rook maybe can get there in time. Ah, can move the king out of the way. Okay, right, so what do we want to be doing? Maybe blocking this pawn with the bishop? Okay, right, let's just be steady now then. We've clawed something back miraculously. But now this is like the last game where is it was the last game because we got a draw didn't we when we were down then let's just take it easy now the knight needs to be doing something oh that was meant to be an arrow that was meant to be an arrow says the knight needs to be doing something potential for here but then the bishop's here so there's not much there so maybe it's coming here oh you have got to be kidding me and you know they didn't see that Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh. Right, it's not finished because they're still playing on. Knight has this, so I can tack this pawn, but the bishop's gone there for that reason. Our pawn can hit their bishop with the support of our bishop. So I'm going to do that. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Doesn't look like it has many squares to actually go to. Maybe it's taken a piece. Let's take. So the bishops are off the board. I think it's time to double the rooks, isn't it? Before they get into one. So now we're up a minor piece. This is surreal. A surreal session indeed. All right, what do we do? Take. I don't think we're taking. I think we're just going to push. We don't even have to do anything because we could leave the pawn just as it is and it'll be protecting us. Yeah, I don't think we need to lose too much sleep over that. Or shall we just push just in case? Shall we just push just in case? I don't really like it because of this rook coming here if, if they do get the rooks there 
think I'm happier just leaving it like that. Maybe they just bring the rook across, then we can push up. Okay, let's just bring the rook here. Just have an escape square, so it would be nice to have this here, but we're not going to be fast enough for any of that. Oh, it's most annoying if they get the king round the back and then there's peeling pawns off while you're attacking them. That's not a good look either. So they do take, so now we just leave the king here, because um, this is just acting as a pawn, basically. Well, our, as our guard pawn. Only thing that can happen is the rook, a rook could come here. If this rook is defending here, then it could come there and it'll be checkmate. But I don't think we're, they're going to get that time either. We're going to put the rook here. Watch it. Watch what happens now. They get a checkmate with me somehow. So it comes here, knight, try and come across here to stop this business. Alright, so that's the one. So if we come this way or this way, we go out there, then his rook's going to come and challenge, isn't it? But we have a plan, I think. Or shall we just push anyway? Push anyway. I'll bring the knight here, attacking the pawn. No. No, no, no. I think the knight's coming here. I'm going to stick with the original movement. I think their rook is going to be chomping at the bit to try and get some sort of play down here. Well, it's hitting its own pawn, so I'm not going to lose any sleep there. If that takes, then we can take. This is why I'm saying the king is kind of protected by their pawn. And where did my knight come from again? Ah, oh, yeah, it came from there. So I think we want to be changing a little bit. Here. Pushing. Going to push the pawns. Oh, what happened? Am I too far behind? Oh, oh I've missed something. Let's push. I'm definitely not missing anything. Unless he comes, but we can take, take. So I don't see any, I don't see any issues. So he's blocked his own king from coming there now. So I think we can now bring this rook here and look to, oh, actually he can still come here. I'm going to push this pawn. Which is probably going to bait his pawn to jump down. So I'm going to push this pawn. This pawn. It's attacking our pawn here. The knight can come and defend the pawn. I think we might do that. Just to ease my mind. Let's just bring the knight here. I was planning on bringing this rook in to come here, to come here. Watch me fluff it up. This is attacking these pawns, so maybe get this here. You can always drop here. And he's moved, so the knight can come here, but can't come there. It is rook. Yep, I think we'll hit the rook. Simple potatoes. Doesn't have to do anything because there's no major checks, but we're trying to get. Oh, why is he going all the way down there? Do I have a fork? Nope. Nope. Tuck the pawn. Because it doesn't look like there's anything happening towards his king, apart from if the knight went here. Then we get that, but then he just goes here. So we'd have to push this pawn to stop the king from dropping down. That might be a situation. Let's do that. Just building up that movement. We may just sacrifice. Do we still do that move? Because if he does, then 
doing that what we said oh no they're stopping the fun they're stopping the fun so if we bring this rook here and attack his rook i think we can do that can't we attack the rook Oh no, I don't. Oh, that's very clever, isn't it? That's very clever. Damn. If I take, he gets a queen. Oh, <laughs> oh and he's chasing me around. Oh, I've fallen for that hook, line, and sinker. Damn. Oh no, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to have to bring something back, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> I'm there thinking it doesn't work and it does now that he's done that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Right, if I bring the rook down, it's not going to make no difference because he's putting a check on us. But if I bring the rook down, it's going to put the check on us. We move here. And then if he brings that down, ooh. So we take, his rook takes. Oh no, that's bad. How did I let that happen? That's so silly. Oh, I should have just taken it off the board. It wouldn't have been this bad. I can't believe that. Oh. Oh, I feel sick. There's me thinking, oh, I'm setting this up here. I'm a move behind. Check. Move. Queen. Ha. Oh. I'm not escaping the checks after that. Oh, shit, joking me. Chuck the rook here. Rook down, check. King up, queen, check. That rook's... Yeah, look, he's laughing at me now. In the chat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, I don't believe I did that. That was silly. Oh. What have you done? Check on the king. That's the only thing I can see now. Check on the king. King takes the rook. King takes the rook. It's offered a draw? Right. Take the pawn. The king takes the rook. King takes the rook. Rook puts a check on the king. He can escape though. Check on the king. He can go here. Can go here. Can go here. Can go anywhere. Yeah, that's not good, dude. That's not good. Six, six. Check. Hides in the corner. Maybe you don't want to hide in the corner because the knight will put a check on him, so. Here or here. Rook puts a check on. But then he can dance away, can't he? Yeah, it's not checkmate. I'll accept it. Right. Where are we at? <gasps> He's showing a draw? 
No, no, that's not right, is it? Let it do its thinking. Right, has it finished the report thing? Uh, two inaccuracies, one mistake, three blunders. Two inaccuracies, no mistakes for them, and three blunders. I've gone right to the end, and it is actually showing it's a draw. Rook takes b2. Check. Yeah, so we were in the right ballpark. If we had continued, it would have been a draw. Although it just felt like I was losing. I couldn't really see the continuation. Uh, there was movements, but... We'll probably just be able to put checks on them. Right, so that's a bit of a relief, but so bad. I don't understand why. You know, I should have just damn well taken it. Look at that. Look, minus five. Look, look, look. All I have to do is take that off the board. Yeah, all I have to do is take it off the board. It's no biggie. You know, he's probably putting a check on or something like that. We can hide in the corner. It's no biggie. You need to stop trying to be too arty. I only did that because I remember many moons ago I saw a player doing that. You know, they left the pawn there because, you know, it was protected by their pawn. But as this game transpired, as we could see, my focal point on attacking their king area, trying to be flash, trying to get the rook positioned blocking off the accesses for the king uh, getting readiness for the checkmate all the while they're slowly incrementally developing their own attack on us all because we didn't take this damn pawn off the board lessons learned big lessons lessons learned today and i haven't <laughs> you'd think i obviously haven't learned anything from that because i keep losing pieces again this is another game where basically i'd lost the piece at the beginning of the game I can't remember what it was. Was it bishop or the knight or something? Oh, it was this convoluted attack thing that they had going on here. That's it's already gone, hasn't it, the bishop? Yeah, they're losing the bishop there. Yeah, so it's plus six for them. And yet again, we're having to fight to try and get some type of initiative in the game. It does help improve my game though, having to fight like that, having to reposition. If the opponent's not finding the super best moves, then that's all good to us. Kudos to what we're doing. But this silly thing here, not taking and being a bit too clever for myself, um, that's ridiculous. Need to stop that. Knock it on the head. Yeah. Any piece of theirs, that's past our halfway mark just take it off the board if you have the opportunity because you end up in positions like what we ended up in and it's ended up being a draw when really we clawed back the problem we had by having been down a piece so then we were actually winning so we then gave the game back to them by making it a draw hey <sighs> okay nice one that's the four games bye for now